All right, YouTube. So I played in a couple PTQs this weekend. I got second on one of them. Lost to humans, which was awful. And I went, did not make the top eight of the other one. Had a decent day, just didn't, just didn't make, um, just didn't make the top eight. Um, and I, I, I started to, as I started to play this deck a little more, give me one second. Now that I have ley lines in the sideboard, <coughs> I found myself starting to figure out how the deck worked a little bit more and like the new configuration. Um, um, I had a rough go, a rough, uh, humans matchup. Now I think that, I don't think that this list is very good for like a PPTQ because I just don't think that those people are going to be on ley lines. <clears throat> those people that are going to like these PPTQs, but I do think this is a really nice like SCG RPTQ or like, <clears throat> or Grand Prix list. Probably what I'm going to play at the uh, at the SCG in Baltimore in a couple weeks. Um, close to it. Um, I decided to change some stuff up. I think I'm, I'm off the Faithless Lootings because the deck needs to operate at instant speed in order to play against the control decks. So I want the, I want to be able to snap Thought Scour more. Um, same thing is why I have Kologon's Commands and no Liliana Last Hopes. I think Last Hope's pretty mediocre right now. Kologon's Command does a similar thing that Last Hope does, but it lets you fight at instant speed. The Lava Mancers, because I still think the control game is the best game against the humans decks. I have a Dark Blast, which I'm trying out. It was very good in a couple times I've drawn it, and against humans, it fuels my Lava Mancer while coupling to kill pretty much everything. Then we've got a couple counter spells here. I find the Disdainful Strokes are just better than um, Ceremonies Rejections, because they're better against Tron after sideboard when they have Thrag Tusk. You can also bring them in against Control Decks. But let's jump into a league here. <clears throat> let's play some magic. Excuse me. Doing pretty well right now. I actually just ran off 14 out of 15 with this list here between last night and uh, today. So I think it's a very good list. pretty solid. I think it's got like a little bit of game of everything. Um, and it's got a good plan. Like it's the first time that I, since I've had ley lines on the board that I've felt my deck, I feel like my deck is cohesive. Like I've actually got solid plans all the way around. <clears throat> so I, I like how that feels. I'm going to change my counter spells a little bit. <clears throat> in order to have counter spells that are also good against Tron, but good against Control. Um, the Graveyard Hate, kind of like the Humans Hate, which is like these cards plus these two. <clears throat> and as long as like with the Mardu Pyromancer, Ironworks Hate slash Mirror Hate. And then we still can grind against the mid-range decks with these Colorado's Commands. My Mardu sideboard is still kind of a little... You know, up in the air. Like, if I look at the other collection. Like, I think against Mardu, I like to side in these eight, these cards here. And maybe go up. Now, because, like, the Dark Blast is a little new. So, I might want to try, like, these nine cards. And side out, like, my four Street Wraiths, <coughs> Lightning Bolts, Fatal Pushes, and then, like, one other card. Not exactly sure. Maybe like a Gurmag Angler because they're likely to be boarding ley lines as well. And I would like to be a little, to be a little closer there. Lord of Darkness. Okay, Sans Dece. I mean, we do the Bobble Trick. We're looking for a threat. We've got pretty much everything we need here. Like. A Death Shadow would make this hand very nice. We don't need any more of that. So we're going to hold our Street Wraith. Because we might draw like a Serum Visions to play with it next turn. I 
How's it going? Oh, playing in Storm. <clears throat> so I think I'm just going to take this Electromancer, or this uh, Brawl. Dismember trades with the Electromancer. My opponent's hand doesn't really do anything. The way this is lining up, it looks like it's going to do a little bit of damage to us. But, like They're not going to have to Storm that much in order to get us here. Slight hand on one, probably. I think it's better for them to opt on turn one instead of sleight of hand. Jeez. Jeez. This is how you lose to Storm, ladies and gentlemen. Are you just going to run that? Please run that guy right out here. God, that's sweet. Yes, yeah. Yeah, I think that you just... I do like Seer and Visions a lot, but I want to just, you know... Be explosive, especially when I've got the lava mancers in the board. Like, I'm being explosive is the wrong term. Um, I would like to just be able to fill my graveyard up, especially when adding the lava mancers. All right, that's not bad. The stream decker is old, then I think. You liar, stream decker! You liar. My deck. Hmm. Let me see if I uploaded the right version. Yeah, I'm playing the right version. I just need to upload this. Yeah. Oh, shoot. Here we go. Export. Playland Shadow. Replace. Let me go over here. Maybe we had a Steam Vents with this. So what did they do? They played an Opt. They put a card on the bottom. Dude, we're totally going to lose this game. Unless we find like a Death Shadow right on top. Them's the beats right there. This, yeah, this game's lost. Which is rough. So the Stream Dagger should be updated. Now, multitasking. Yeah, I'm, I'm just trying the Dark Blast out. Likely dead here. The Dark Blast seems pretty solid. <clears throat> uh, the Dark Blast is pretty solid, like, in theory, when it comes to, like, Helping grind against humans, filling your graveyard for the Lava Mancer. So, like, in theory, it's nice. I don't know if it's actually good. I, I've drawn it a couple times, and I've drawn it a couple times with Lava Mancers, and I've liked it a lot. All right, we're going to take something here. All right, let's just take this Grave Shot. And just hope we don't die. <clears throat> this has, like, been very anemic. Very anemic draw from the home team here. Okay, so we know... No, we don't, because they got rid of this. All right, well... We're going to take this remand. Or they're just going to remand this. Yeah, we're going to take this remand and then pass. We're just going to die to Electromancer Beats, which is going to be some a sad state of affairs. Can't cast that. Rut row. I hope they just, like, grape shot me. You know, they just like attack, grape shot. Just one. That wouldn't be a bad like if I'm like this is gonna be embarrassing, I would I would rather die like that. Alright, what are we doing? We're showing off here? Alright, we're good. 
we're good. We are good. All right, so against Storm. This is all I usually board in against Storm. And that's how we do it. <clears throat> My sideboard definitely does not have a lot for those spell based combo decks. That's I guess if we're gonna if we're gonna call there a hole if we're gonna say there's a hole in my sideboard, that's it. Dude, I love founders. <clears throat> it's just the nectar of the gods. The idea of Dark Blast for the Wild Lands. Yeah, and, and plus it also just like fills my graveyard. It makes sure Lava Mansa works every turn, you know? And I kind of wanted a little I kind of wanted a little creature or something to kill little creatures because I don't have any last hopes. Uh, this is a pretty solid hand, but like God, if we miss on land drop, if we get two shots at lands, if we hit a land, we're good. So I'm gonna keep this. This is a little greedy. Ritual on top. Oh, there's a blood moon. At least they only have one land, so I probably actually should just take their serum visions. Then, like, the problem is if I let them serum visions, they could miss. I kind of just want to get this blood moon out of here because they hit a land, they're just gonna go ritual blood moon. Like, even though that kind of sucks. Just feel like the adult decision. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. You're probably right, Ben. God. So. You put two cards on the bottom. I don't think I want either of these. I think we're just on the Gurmag Angler plan next turn. And I'd like to just find some more interaction. <clears throat> How are you doing today, Ben? Ooh, we got lucky. We got lucky for sure. Now, do we want to tap out here? We might as well leave this stubborn denial in our graveyard because we can't stop uh, Ritual plus Blood Moon, and we can stop Ritual plus – or we can't – no, they got rid of the Blood Moon. Jeez. We can't stop, like – I don't know. We can't stop him from doing anything this turn, but we can next turn. Let's turn it sideways. And my opponent put a card on top. I could be cute and like dot scour them. Nah, that just sounds not good. Okay. Oh, I should have thought scoured myself. I'm all over the place today. We're just warming up. We're just going to stub the first thing that we get the chance to do to stub. Like that. I have to play a little better in my next game. A little all over the place. And we just battle rage this thing. And crack in for enough. That's interesting, they have Blood Moons. I thought that the Storm players, the Storm didn't play Blood Moon anymore, but maybe they're moving over to it? I don't know. I don't know what would happen in a metagame to make it, to determine that, like, 
Blood Moon is, you know, better in Storm right now. But maybe it is. Yeah, I think we're just going to submit. We gotta be much, much tighter with our mulligans on the draw. Because, like, we can just get clowned by a blood moon. And still a typical for this one, Moon. Okay. I think I'm going to ship this. And not much better. But we might find a discard spell on one. And maybe they won't have like ritual plus moon. <clears throat> they went top top. All right, I'm gonna go to an island and serum visions. I don't think I want either of these. This doesn't like. I don't think this is gonna be a death shadow game. It's going to be a Gurmag Angler game. All right, nice. So I kind of want to stub a pieces. Yeah, I think we're going to just stub a pieces of the puzzle, Thought Scour, and then play Gurmag Angler. That's good as well. I'm just gonna fetch my thought scour first. And then stub this. <clears throat> you beat the queue yesterday, Barney so I knew it, but I get to hide the and right tenth on to this blank this guy. Didn't see Sai yeah, Sai will get you. That's actually a pretty awesome draw. Well we're gonna delve Only one to play around remand. You have to find a way to get this, or it just doesn't take him very much to, to go off. Should count on the first one. Maybe I'm supposed to let this go, but he can just go like ritual, you know, into. Maybe I'm supposed to like not counter that first one. Took Lily on my board though, although she's not where I want to be in the I would agree. Pass in flames. Yeah, we're gonna get stormed. I mean it happens. Ooh, man. Sucks to lose the good ones, you know? But sometimes it happens. I'm at 13 storm count. Yeah, it happens. 
It happens. So this one's zero pieces. Okay. Which I don't like surgical isn't fine. Yeah, I mean, surgical's okay. What I like about and I, what I finally feel like my plan is cohesive. That like this is also my plan against Marty Pyromancer. Which is nice. And it's more effective than anything else we can bring to the table, I think. It's high variance, but it is a very good way to win. Um, it's a very good way to win. Um, win that matchup. Ooh, that sucks. Lost to a good one. Dude, yeah, you should not bring your surgicals in against Mario Pyro. That is, uh, that is, that is no good. In my opinion. Yeah. Look, I mean, I beat... I played Mardu Pyromancer in the second... in the semifinals of the PTQ I played in. And I just think... I was playing Kira, and I liked Kira, but I don't like how Kira plays with... Because like, I, I want Battle Rage in that matchup. Did I just play against this person? Yeah, I just did. All right. Well, now we get a chance of revenge. This hand's pretty solid, too. All right, I'll be right back. Yeah, I just, I tried it. And... I just I just thought that there was like a lot of graveyard hate running around anyways. And it's just not it's not a good combination. Alright, we're gonna take this lecture answer. They opt. Oh, did you find another bear? Did you find another bear? Don't do this to me. Okay. <coughs> Jeez. Yeah, I think it's just greedy to play two shadows. And I can just go get this and then play one. And then like leave them kind of anemic. Really like the answer, thank God. The shadow doesn't care. It kind of does. How's it going, fourth skin? Fourth skin. <laughs> How you doing tonight? Jeez. That's a sweet draw. I'm not even gonna crack this because like it's it's lethal next turn. Even through a blocker. So there's no need. This is how it's supposed to go. Oh, the actual shadow, yeah. Yeah, because I've been laylined out of games before, for sure. I think it's actually a good move for the Black Red Benjamin decks to play Leyline in their main deck. So we know they have two rituals, so we're just going to stub the first one. And then it should be in good shape. You know, make something happen, bud.
That's how it's supposed to go. Alright. So we're going to board it in the same way again. Good, thank you. I played a four round modern LGS, played two storms, smashed some hard, played duo and for the X, got absolutely smashed. It wasn't funny. Our uh, practice charm is such a problem right now. It's unreal. No, I don't bring in the light line against them. Um, yeah, I'm gonna mulligan. This hand's much better. Yeah, I don't like ley line against this deck because oftentimes they, they combo through with uh, goblins. Oh, this guy's Blood Moon. I should have kept that. That's not good. Alright. Better lucky than good. <clears throat> oh, they don't, like, I don't think they go off. Alright, so what they do? They put a card on top. They easily could have put like a Brawl or another Desperate Ritual on top to make this go off. So I could just take this empty. Yeah, because they, they definitely put a Ritual on top. Because Manamorphose, Ritual, Ritual, Empty is a really good way to do it. Yeah, but like there's a difference between like we just have much better cards against them than Blue White. Like what am I taking out? Like Lightning Bolts? Thought Teases? How's it going on, Clablanc? Clablanc, nineteen. I don't know. I think we'll take this empty though. This could be a cost reducer. That would also make sense. No, sleight of hand. That's a very. I guess that makes sense to put on top. All right. Now I feel stupid for taking that e or taking that. Empty. Kind of sucks. But let's get nasty. <clears throat> that makes sense, yep. Yeah. That, that's that's what I that's what I mean. They might just go ritual gifts. I wouldn't be like an I mean it'd be would be awful. All right. Start by attacking. I'm gonna lead off on this watery grave so that we can bolt a bear. Kind of like gives away. Obviously, it gives away we don't have stubborn denial, but I think it's just like the overall better play to do. Doing good. Long way to work. Wanting a bit. Nice. Also, is it static caster in the cyber? I think static caster is underwhelming. Like. It doesn't really kill that many things out of humans unless you've got um, Grim Lava Mancer with it. And um, it's three mana, which is a lot. So here comes the gifts. Okay, so we have Manamorphos X. This is going to be an interesting gifts file. So we're just going to take all the mana. So they have, we know they have a Manamorphos in their hand. So I kind of just want to take Manamorphos, Desperate Ritual, and then hit the Desperate Ritual. And just leave them with like mana. Like maybe I should just go Ritual, take Ritual, like put these two in the graveyard, then take a Manamorphose because they just, it doesn't like net them mana to work towards their, their passive life. That's probably right to do. Let's go like this. And let's just take a ritual. 
Like, we can let them kind of spin their wheels, but they're not actually making mana unless they find a bear. A land there would have been nice. Okay, so finding a gifts, which doesn't really do anything because they don't have... Um, they don't have a way to cast it. So we should be good here. Uh, is it worth fishing for a stub? Probably. It just ends the game. Okay. So, nope. No stub for us. Slide of hand. So, we still know Electromancer. And then we'll go Snap Bolt. Or we can just K command them, I guess that's less clicking. Discards card, deal two damage. That's how that's supposed to go. Yeah. So Rakdos Charm exiles a creature. A Braid's a pretty good cyborg card. You can just find out the draw, makes you feel any like static caster that is. Yeah, I just think that like I, I, I always try to take the cheaper the cheaper card. Oh, because they do damage themselves. What's the point of modern? How you doing, Elliot? Because I am just not I'm not about that time warp plan. That's just not my cup of tea. So my mom and my stepdad are buying a new car, and they're looking at trucks today. So they're pretty excited. Yeah, I was saying about it twice in a row. It felt not. It felt nice to avenge ourselves. Yeah, we're gonna keep this one. <coughs> we're gonna go land pass. We're either going to push something or Thoughtseize. We are Thoughtscour. We want to use this Street Wraith and we can couple it with Serum Visions. Ooh, we're playing a control deck. This sucks. We drew a good one. Okay. So let's Serum Visions. Uh, there's Hollow and Storm, Ridge Nine, Environment, Yeah. Yeah, this is this is tough. Um, we don't want this. I do think that we want. I, I think we want this Snapcaster. It's just like we don't have anything great to snap back at the moment. But we find a discard spell. That is a, certainly a way to claw back into it. Uh, let's just do it in there. Do it on their turn so we'd see a card. I'm interested in watching this. I got absolutely hard. Yeah. It's all right. We got the tools. We're going to get them. Just believe, chat. A remand. Huh. So we're playing against a control deck. Or the blue, white, red deck. Well, that's much better. All right, let's see if they want to remand this. All right, they didn't want to remand that. So we're going to put this on top, and we're going to put this on the bottom. Cyclar Street Wraith. Cast this. They remand it, and then we just cast it again. Yeah, I think we're playing against Jeskai. 
could not be at work right now. You must be just finishing up, right, Elliot? I guess I don't know what your hours are. You work at Apple, though, right? Or something like that. That's got to be pretty sweet. Okay. He probably has, like, spell colors or something like that if he's on the remand list. Oh, nice. Oh, geez. What is this? There are a non-token creature enters the battlefield and you're Joel. You may play if you do. Create a copy of that token. It gains haste. Exile it. Huh. Well, we're going to take this to Healy. Then we're going to snap Thought Seize that thing. But, yeah, that's a, that's a spicy meatball over there. I have no idea what we're playing, to be honest. So they played Soul for False. That's what they drew. Which is a nice note. Yeah, I'm like cranking. I need to like crack my neck. Snapcaster cost blue mana. Maybe a little conservative with my life total. I do have six points of reach. We're going down to ten. I want to go down to like nine so that they might just bolt me. Yeah, they are. This is sweet. So now, not to play against Death Shadow 101 right here. That's not how you do it, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, I am at four, but we're going to put on a bunch of power on the board this turn. He's going to draw Char. Uh, do I want to play the second one out? Probably not. Though we could have Stub. I doubt he's got main deck Wrath. In the Sahili Rai Felidar Guardian deck. God, my neck is sore. He needs to just guard attention. Yeah, I think this is like a Sahi this is just an Ascension deck. Not an Ascension deck, like a Sahili Rai combo deck. But we're not ever cracking that. What do you got, dude? He's got an island. No, this island's gone. At least I think no, there's one island left. Alright, I accept. And we'll try and get it. Okay. Remember that time you lightning bolted me and lightning helix me for no reason? It does work, yeah. So whenever a non-token creature enters the battlefield under your control, you may play red. If you do, create a token that's a copy of that creature. That token gains haste. Exile it at the beginning of the next end step. So it's not even infinite. This is like... What? Is this like... So Felidar Guardian can bounce itself? I don't know. That's odd. I don't really know what I want to sideboard. Like, Stubborn Denial seems pretty solid. But then again, so does my remo removal. Lightning Bolt's probably mediocre. I think we're just going to go like this. I think. Maybe he's playing something like with Madcap skills. Put it in Imperial. Okay, that makes sense. I mean, it doesn't make sense, but it makes sense, you know? So, like, he's a blue control deck, so why don't we just do a little bit of hedging? We probably can go like this. Yeah, let's try this. Is it competitive? Yeah, it is a competitive league.
All right. Yeah, I'll keep this. God, my neck is so sore. I used to do uh, jujitsu when I was younger. Um, I did it for like five years. And whenever my neck was sore, I would always go over to my instructor. And, whoa, that's a big boy right there. I would always go over to my instructor. And I would have him do like a head and arm choke to like uncrack my neck. Which always felt, which was always, always great. Oh, nice. Why didn't they give themselves the option to remand this? I don't know, but we're... I can't stub this, right? This is a creature. Legendary enchantment creature. Yeah, so we're just going to take this, because we're going to lose to it if we don't. I broke a guy's arm in a tournament one time, Elliot. He just didn't tap. And I was like, all right, dude. Oh. We can, we can, we can try. He's doing it right now. Okay. The ref just like didn't, and I don't really know. It was probably like the ref's fault, but like I had him in like an arm bar, and it was a, it was a belly, uh, it was a belly, belly down arm bar, like one of the, one of the, uh, like one of those, one of the painful ones. That sucks. Um, I don't even really want to play this shadow because like my opponent's just gonna. I mean, I'm gonna hope that they untap. Like, we're gonna we're gonna think that our opponent's gonna play right. I think I'm just gonna pass. Belly to belly. I don't know what that reference is, but I I had a belly down one, and you know how like arm bars work when you have a cup on. You can just like, if you get caught in the right position, you just really can torque on somebody's arm. That's a very nice draw. Oh, it's a WWE finisher. I I, I enjoy watching the WWE from time to time, but I, I have not followed it enough. Uh, this remains annoying. He's got two of them. You know what would be sweet? We could find like a Snapcaster Mage. That wouldn't even be that sweet, actually. We could find a K-Command to be nice. Well, I could just like... Yeah, we're just going to pass. I don't want to play a 3-3 Shadow that can get Lightning Bolted. Hangman is from the town I currently live in. Nice. It's going good, 13 Fox. This is... This is kind of loose, right, from our opponent? That's good. Breaking the neck, is it's not great, you know? This is all right. This means our shadow is going to make it into play, which I'm pretty hyped about. I'm just gonna hope my guy doesn't get bolted. This is nice because I'm just gonna like. I think I'm just gonna fire off a stub. Okay. It's probably a good play by our opponent. Hmm. And hopefully. We can find a way to turn this on with this pretty soon. I would be very sad if my shadow were killed. 
Is that to tap and sack, and you can just sack it? No, you can just sack it. Okay. To bowl you without stubbing. Snapcaster Mage. Snapcaster Mage. What a joke. Yeah, you got it. We're just going to push this now. Yeah, the old Snapcaster Mage. Oh, we draw Thought Scour. Oh, we drew another nasty. We might board out some Gurmag Anglers in the second game because, like, Gurmag, I mean, Gurmag Angler is just really poor in the face of her man. That's actually not a bad draw. So I can fight on their their end step now. This is why I like Faithless Looting. I like uh, Thought Scour a lot better than Faithless Looting. I guess we can't do it this turn because we only have one blue source available. But like, I just like being able to fight like Snapcast or Thought Scour at the end of a control opponent's turn. That might be worth them acting on it. Just want to EOT, just like flash it in. Just flash in a little beater. Yeah, I like that idea. Just get in there. I don't know. The mana base seems much worse. Without Deathrite Shaman. Now I kind of want to upkeep this Snapcaster Mage. Just like try to get him to use some mana. And if he lets his trigger resolve, I'm just going to wait. All right. No graveyard. You still got a little 2 1, though. He still has a remand. God, getting a Gurmag Angler remanded was just an awful experience. I'm going to fetch both of these tap at the end of their turn, probably. Don't look, yeah. So I might, well, Angler gets much better on the draw. But I do think I want like all of my Colgon's commands in for the next the next round. Oh god. Hello, Dark Guardian. Am I gonna die? Am I gonna die? Not gonna die. I'm definitely just gonna try to battle rage right over the top of this fellow Dark Guardian. Just send a message with the old snap boy. Snap dad is going to beat the tar out of this fellow dark guardian. I guess it was loose cracking both of those. This kind of leaves me dead to a lot of stuff, but... We're kind of like getting to the point of the game where we shouldn't really try to play around a lot of stuff.
get electrolyzed. Another remand. Okay. I'm glad we're cycling through all this crap. Holy shit. I'm not blocking with it. All right. I guess I could have blocked. Kind of saw that coming. So they're just sitting on a whole bunch of lands, Elliot. God, I really dislike Opt as a magic card. Put a card on the bottom. They played a Sulfur Falls, which we knew about. Yeah, especially when you recast it. So if I dismember this, it makes my delve easier. Dismember, five cards, seven, hold up stub. This might bait like a, a rem, another remand or a snapcast mage. So let's start here. All right, let's go nasty. We're getting nasty with Germasty. Holy shit. So even though my opponent's deck is very odd, I think I, I think I did a pretty good job this game of like utilizing my mana and trying to play, trying to like lean on my opponent as much and be patient. Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna go for. I'm gonna run this battle rage right into a path to exile if they've got it. I think I definitely like timed spells pretty well. Here. I'm going to turn some lights on in here. Yeah, just to harass them, you know. That's something that, like, that's why I, that's why I don't like Faith Saluting this deck anymore, because you just want to be able to, like, you just want to be able to play at instant speed against these control decks. That's why I don't really like Liliana the Last Hope. I like Coligon's Command because I just want to play on my opponent's end step or play in my opponent's upkeep. All their their decks so like big and gaudy and clunky that I want to dictate. The course of actions. Because I don't have the card quality to like just sit there and go like, you know, left left hook for left hook against this deck. I just have to sit back and like I have to just try to like maneuver and like pinch my opponent for one big turn. And Coligon's command is a card that's really good at that. And that's why I'm playing those over last hope. I don't even think Last Hope is very good against the control decks right now because um, even though I tried the lunges, like you don't have as many of your cards. Like all your cards are getting exiled, so like the buyback's not great. You're just buying back Street Wraith, which against Jeskai is pretty painful. Um, yeah, this is a great hand here. Um, this is painful against Jeskai, and okay, we have another blue matchup here. So what was I saying? It's painful against Jeskai, and it's just like, like you can sit here and tap out for your Liliana Last Hope and be like, all right, we're doing it, and then they just go like land Jace, and you're like, oh my god, this game's way over. So we're just going to take a business spell. I think you're the rat. All right, so let's uh, let's get some big angles action.
when in doubt, get nasty with Germasty. And I really like how after sideboard, we really punish these path to exiles. Their path to exiles are kind of a free roll in game one, but once we have Kolagon's command in our deck, it's really good. All right. Sure, dude. They probably take my Thoughtseize, if I had to guess. Taking Thoughtseize is actually big. Like they, they terminus, I like they terminus, they click themselves on my draw stat. Which is just like so odd. Alright. That's kind of sweet. You do nasty germasty, baby. The theme of this stream is we get nasty on two. Oh my god, and they're going to wasteland me? That's so gross. That is like such a gross hit. Uh, we're in trouble, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, so we have a lightning bolt. We have lightning bolt in the graveyard. So if we go fetch shock to five, double shadow, and then we hopefully just bolt to clear it out. All right. And if they attack me and miss, they're dead. They missed. Oh, baby. Ready, dude? We're going to get fancy. No, we're not going to BM our opponent. That works, too. It's much cooler to do with Snapcaster Mage, though. Hey, thanks, uh, Harass Zero. I appreciate it. You watch a lot on YouTube? If you do watch me on YouTube, make sure to subscribe on YouTube. I see all of those. I get to see all the views, and then I go over and look at my subscribers, and, like, something doesn't add up. I'm just saying. This is also just, like, a super clean board plan, which I like. Like, like I said, I think this is the first time that my deck has felt cohesive since I added ley lines into the sideboard, not just a pile of cards. Just, like, boom. In and out. I could see cutting a street wraith if I have if I'm getting uh, if I'm bringing the E. Like I would respect somebody that did that. But with three K commands, I really just want a creature in my graveyard. Heater. Kind of a heater. Land. Bottom. We do I always seem to see your stream links right after your streams end. Well, that's rough. Oh, it's a new subscriber. Um, I think it's pretty important for me to hit my second land here. All right, so they're drawing a land. Neither of those are a second land. You know, maybe I should have just kept the Gurmag Angler to hope. Yeah, I'll do anything once. That's not good. That's an argument for thought seizing for sure. That was probably just a super pun. Like I, if I if I'd have been like on my game, I would have thought about that, to tell you the truth. All right, 
Please jace me so I can go to the next game. Losers. Losers. Play rest in peace. Yes. Give me land. Come on. Oh, dude. We're dead six ways to Sunday. Show me like a Jace and a Teferi. Yo, combo deck. Sorry, right, we got seven cards. They have two. It's all good. You should have flashed the Snapcaster Major and start beating. Yeah. I could make fun of my opponent's 2-1, but it's just going to kill me. Alright. Joke's on you. I get the Thought Scour now. Alright. I made a mistake. We're going to bring in Engineered Explosives. I am going to dismember this Gideon, though, and it's going to be sweet. We're having a hard time with the old lands this game. Alright, we're good. We're good. I yield. I yield. Sorry, we're on the play this one. We're gonna get we're gonna get uh, get a good hand and get under him. I'm going to stop using my club right now. My first one's going to lose. If I saw a funny Twitter, Twitter spat about the new World of Warcraft. Hello, just joined this group from a modern sword player for years without a Twitch channel. So don't burn, be burnt out. My words, demons match up. Any advice? It's tough. It's tricky. Like you need, you definitely need some, you need some ammo on your sideboard for it. Ugh. All right. You want four thought scours. You're, you're as much a Gurmag Angler deck as you are a Death Shadow deck. Well, that Mulligan was kind of good for the home team. Against all the black decks, Gurmag Angler is a better threat than. We're just going to take this Ancestral Visions, then we're going to take Snapcaster, and then it's just going to turn into a big old, like, who maneuvers what game here. They do their scry. They put a card on top. How lucky. Land? God, I'm so good at this game. Give me tough slogging. Yeah, you're, you're just as much a Gurmag Angler deck as you are a Death Shadow deck. Like, Gurmag Angler is really important. All right. So we find a... If we find a Thought Scour, or a, a Street Wraith, that's going to be decent. The problem is we're just going to have to try to fight through all this crap. Yes, his board was well set up to fight humans. For sure. We do have to find we have to find some action here. Because if we just sit here and make land drops, I'm gonna lose. So, Snapcaster Mage gets Mana Leak. This is why you want to have Thought Scour in your, in your deck. Just because for reasons like this. Because if I could, like, start the fight off with a Thought Scour at the end of my opponent's turn, 
it could open up doing something here. Like thought scour is really important. This colony is gonna be a problem here. When I uh, Mm hmm. Anger's a little slow. We gotta find answers to these colonnades, or we're gonna die. I want red and blue. Okay, so they're just gonna leak this. They're gonna logic not it. Okay. All right, mail leaks good. So they have path dispel X. So right now would be a really good time to draw Death Shadow. Hey Schultz Cube, how you doing? Ugh. We just did not. Do not find, do not find our boy. Oh man, and they hit a land. Doing well to stop work, thank you. Nice. Well, so we're gonna snap K command because if they want to counter it, it is going to at least make it so they can't attack. But, we are in a pretty tough spot. We can't even cycle the Street Wraith. We're just gonna make them discard a card. We're gonna return our Street Wraith, but yeah, I mean, Faithless Looting is just like you've got to be able to play at instant speed against these decks. You can't like because you you can't just play on your main phase because their cards are too good. Yeah, we need a Death Shadow last turn. Like we we we've got two dismembers in our deck to handle this colonnade. Yeah, they just let that happen. That's a good play from them. It doesn't really do anything. Yeah, that doesn't do anything. Oh man, that's rough. That is rough. We just didn't really do anything in that game, which kind of sucked. So I definitely think the version of my deck does not play Liliana last hope. So it's just like Liliana is. If you don't have Lilianas in your deck, I think you need them if you don't have ley lines because you have to fight against Mardu. But if you don't have last, like if you have ley lines, you shouldn't have Lilianas, and you should just try to play at instant speed with these control decks, which is why I think you should have three commands. Which is why you should have Thought Scour and not Faithless Looting in a build like this. I think. I am not there, Schultz Cubed. I am not. Flying out to D GP Detroit in, I don't know, that's like a couple weeks or so. Yeah, because, like, my best card against Mardu is Leyline. Did I, did I just miss... Myself getting paired. I was talking. God, I love Founders. So I'm assuming all GPs from here. I'm assuming all GPs from here on out are going to be modern. I'm not sure. Not really sure what the GP situation is. 
All the GPs that I'd be willing to. Oh, but thank you for the bets there, Jay Huey. If I had some chests, I would open them. I actually just sold a bunch of chests this morning. Cash out about 200 tickets, which is just a way to help pay for stuff. Oh, I'm going to keep his hand. His hand's not great, but it is decent. Oh, well, it's pretty bad against Tron. So we're going to get a watery grave, and then we're going to have cycle both times. We're going to look to find some action. Okay, that's action. That's kind of action. Ooh, baby. All right. So if my opponent plays another Tron piece, I'm going to Thoughtseize Shadow them. If they don't play another Tron piece, I'm going to play two Shadows. Yes, yeah, so we're going to jam two Shadows. Because we can actually just kill them next turn, I think. So play two Shadows. They're three threes. Next turn we fetch, make them six sixes. Thoughtseize makes them eight eights. And Bolt makes them ten tens. So we've got to, we got to turn three this guy. If he does not do something here. That's the game plan. Baby. I should have played my land. That was loose. That was loose. Doesn't matter. Good night, Irene. God, there are very few things that I like more than turn three and drawn decks. Like on a life hierarchy, it's pretty high up there. Just good night, Irene, dude. Hey, Nameless. You played against my uh, my friend. He was playing Bogles earlier. He he was actually streaming. That match, I watched you guys play. Thank God. Yeah, I was. I've been. I've been checking you out. I've been checking you out. Looks like it's been a while. Looks like you've been on the struggle bus a little bit. Yeah, I saw that. Go like this, and then I. I like just. I like the K commands. I'm gonna try this out here. Sort by converted mana cost. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I saw that. And I, I, was, I was in his Twitch chat, and I was like, dude, how do you sleep at night? How, how do you sleep at night? He was very funny about it. He's just like, yeah, my opponent's probably falling out of their chair now. He played around. I was talking to him through it, and he, he like, blocked too early. Because he's like, I'm trying to play around Battle Rage. I was like, dude, you're just never going to beat Battle Rage. You should just never play around Battle Rage. Yeah. Oh, his hand's not good. I was like, yeah, you're never going to beat Battle Rage. There's just a certain amount of decks in the format that can just never beat Battle Rage, and his is one of it. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. All right. Leading on that is nice. That is nice. They put a card on top. They put a card on the bottom. So I can't... The only reason they must have kept this hand, besides it just being absolutely horrible, is if they have a Sylvan Scrying or an Ancient Stirring. They have an Expedition Map. So let's take this... we we'll probably just take this map. This is loose, by the way, I think. Let's just take this map. All right. Um, let's check out our top card before we see our visions. Yeah, dude, Thrag Tusk is a, an issue. So let's see our visions. All right, we do want a disdainful stroke. Oh, I wanted that land too because it's gonna only play Death Shadow. That was a pun. That was stupid, because I have Snapcaster also.
You checked his top card? Oh, because you played it with Thought Scour? That makes sense. Because it's like a land, you've just like gotten that thing out of here. I just want to know what mine was before I Seer Envisioned. But I get that. And now we're punished here because I didn't keep a freaking land. Which, I mean, we picked up two really good cards, but like, if I don't find a land here, all right. Better lucky than good. Dude, this is this is an idiot. This isn't like an idiot approved stream. So you're you're good. You can look like an idiot as much as you want in the stream. Half the time I play on this stream, I look like an idiot. Don't dismember my shadow, dude. You son of a bitch. You piece of garbage. All right, we're gonna stop this. All right, so what are we doing now? We like Snapcaster. I guess we just pass and then we disdainful stroke something, or we snap Thought Scour. You know their turn. Blech. That's so bad. Okay, we're gonna snap Thought Scour, then snap. Then probably snap a... Uh... Snap Serum. Snap Serum was like the second option. I'm gonna have to snap Thoughtseize now. Get rid of this Emrakul. I'm gonna lose this game. Then he's gonna kill me. I just hope they don't draw anything for like the rest of the game. Nice. I'm gonna hit my red source, which kind of blows. Oh, I didn't hit my red source. It's kind of sweet. My friend got top four unlocked. That's pretty awesome. Like, so flash and snapcaster mage. I can't go flash and snapcaster mage. Cast Serum Visions and hold up Disdainful Stroke. So I think we're just going to like let this happen. And then I'm just going to Serum Visions on my turn. Did he, did he have like any kind of a special build to it? Or did he like... Or, or what? Like... Did he have anything special going on, or, or do you think do you like the deck that much? We're ripping one more pithing needle. Yeah, so I'm just gonna snap thought scour again. Like, there's maybe there's a world I can win if I attack for four points a turn, draw a couple K commands, like. I know I'm stretching here. We're going to have to earn this one. All right. Come on, Snapcaster Mage. Give me the 2 1 beats. But I think his deck has the best sideboard in the metagame. Well, if you if you have those white sideboard cards, that's bad. I mean, it could be worse. I probably should have thought seized them on my turn because like the only cards I can have are like Ulamog. So many times, yeah, it's it's like a very good sideboard. I hope they just let this happen so that, like they try to time walk me. Then we just get in for four more points of damage. Nope. Tilt. Yeah, I definitely should have thought season last turn. Because, like, anything that they have kills me. Unless they're holding, like, a land. Yeah, see, like, that was stupid. I messed up. That's scary.
feel like my internet is getting progressively worse. Yeah, that's a really good sideboard for the format right now. Just say I'm on uh, university Wi-Fi. You're back on college. Nice, Archmage. Being a learning boy. I'm going to let this go. So now we're probably just going to flash the Snapcaster Mage in again. We have a Thought Scour, right? Yeah, we have another Thought Scour. Let's fetch before we do anything. Come on. All right. Okay, so we got not quite lethal on the board, but we're drawing the 3K commands. We have 3K commands in the last 24 cards of our library. So if I can just, like, get one of those, that would be sweet. We can just get nasty one time. You're just living on Canada. Yeah, no learning. This is a no learn stream. Come on, baby. Get out of my face. That's why I think I think. Painful Stroke is better after sideboard against these Tron decks than Ceremonies Rejection. Oh, man. God, I am so good at this game. Let me tell you what, dude. When 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 you need... You know what we're going to do? Because little Snapcaster Mage, this doesn't happen to him very often. And he's going to appreciate getting Battle Raged. Planks have pitch from watching the stream. Nice. All right, let's open up our pity chest, and then I'm going to grab some more water. <laughs> 